Okay, so going over here, we're going to do bodybuilding posing today. Um, your classic physique guy, very similar. Uh, you just will, you know, take out a few of the poses and add in yours. But the, the quarter turns are exactly the same. So we always say, you know, the show is often decided by those first four turns. So you come out, you present yourself with the front relaxed, you turn to the right, you turn to the back, you turn to the right, come back for him. These are very, very important. Um, Jay Cutler used to always talk about how he would win the show in the first four turns. Because he would win those shots, and then it's just everybody else catching up. So you really want to get these, nail these down. Um, so we're going to be very specific on these. So these are the quarter turns, and that you always present first in your show. So we're going to do a front relax here first with Jonathan. So this front relax, guys, this is an opening statement. This is the first time they get to see you. Uh, just, uh, you really want to focus on being dominant here. You want to really want to pose big, really show your upper body to the judges. One of the main things that people don't realize is the judges are down below you. So you want to pose down to them. So Jonathan needs to cock his hips just a little bit and pose his upper body down towards the judges just slightly. That'll help make him look a little bit bigger up top. He's very dominant down below, so he's got to really focus on making this big as he can, posing it big. His front relax is great. He has a great V taper here. He's got the awesome quad sweep, and he's big and wide up top. Um, I wouldn't change anything other than, like I said, the hip tilt just a little bit. Your judges are going to be about a 45 degree angle below you, so you've got to think about that in every single pose. Quarter. All right, so one cue here that we always, you know, we've learned this, me and, me and Martin actually just watched a video about this with Flex Wheeler. Um, one way to kind of adjust yourself and almost kind of create an illusion is you want to put your instep, move your instep forward into about halfway up your other foot. Yeah, what this does is if you see, it makes his hamstring, his back hamstring pop out a little further than his front. But when you're from a distance, like down from the judge, it all looks as one. So his, his hamstring almost looks a little extra wide here on the back side, even though it's not even his front one. But like I said, everyone's so far away, they, they can't really tell the difference right here. I also want him to slightly turn his feet a little bit back towards the back wall. Um, the reason for that is because when he fights across, when he turns, he's gonna fight across his waist and create an illusion of his waist being very, very small. So it's a, you're fighting across, you know, creating these lines through the obliques and really fighting. And then there's also a little bit of a forward lean. So almost like he's gonna fall over, but you're leaning into the pose, firing that tricep right there, looking good, coming a little bit more across, and then beautiful right there. So the one thing that really accentuates your V taper, like Brett was saying, is the more you fight across your waist here. So the more you can fight across and make that waist tiny, the better your V taper is gonna be here. Then the other thing to focus on is it's a glute show. So really squeeze that glute, show them that you got the striations there. He's peeled, so you really wanna focus on having those show up. So turn. All right, so a couple main points here. This guy's got awesome freaking legs. So sitting on the hamstrings a little bit, I'd actually open your feet up just a little bit. You have such big adductors, you can get away with it. You just go until your adductors are just slightly touching, then sit on the hamstrings. That's what's giving him the lines here. Pinch the glutes. You can actually squeeze your glutes a little bit more. There you go. And then big chest. One of the things that we think about from the front side here is I think about a string being attached from my sternum to the ceiling, and that helps me pull up and out. And then he's just spreading the lats and reaching towards that back wall a little bit to get the width. And uh, this is perfect pose for him. Don't shrug up. There you go. Open towards the back wall. There you go. Perfect. That's the main thing, like you said, a lot of people like kind of like the shrug. You want to get as wide as you can through here. So open it. No, you're going to go back to where you were. No, that's shrugging. Now go open. There you go. There you go. go forward there you go. the shoulders, chest up, big air. Boom, right there. Don't forget about the legs. So we always set the legs first and we just keep firing them. So always set legs first, and then they're locked and loaded for the whole pose. Court turn. So now the other side on the, the, the turns, like we said, he's this time he adjusts his instep. He really is facing a little bit towards that back wall, and he's fighting across the lean ups. So lean back, back, lean forward. That helps you keep this tight in too. Then suck it in. Twist and glute. Yep. So there's a lot, a lot going on. So like you know. Watching it looks easy, but when you're doing this, it's extremely hard because you gotta think, for, you know, all the way from you, how much you're pushing into the ground, all the way to where your shoulders and head are. So everything needs to sync together here. So you gotta get the mind-muscle connection all the way through, which he's doing really good at. 
Okay, face the front. So anytime they turn you to the front, just make sure to get in this pose. Some guys get lazy, kind of keep their hands on hips. Be the first guy in the pose that kind of sets up. Cramping? <laughs> Being the first guy in the pose though, kind of sets the, the presence of you on stage. It kind of tells the judges, I'm here, I'm ready to win. Uh, I want this, you know, so one thing that Brett and I always make a big point of when we're on stage is when they call the pose, you be the first guy in the pose, make sure you're really showing out, showing big, and uh, just making sure that every time they call something, you want to be the first guy in it, and you want to be the first guy to be able to, when they start taking eyes off you, to be able to make it a man manipulation to get eyes back on you. So we'll show you a couple cues and tips for that in other poses that kind of as they start to look at other competitors to get eyes back on you to make sure you're the main focus. And also always make sure, I know we're just talking right now so I told them to relax, but when you're on stage make sure you're never relaxed. So when you're waiting, they're, if they're just looking at you, even if you're not even up right now, you're on the side, make sure you're sitting there in a pose flexing because you always got to think that judges might be looking at you because they remember you and they might be examining you from the side even if you're not up, it's your turn. So always be in a pose, always be flexing, you know, don't let your stomach hang, just always be conscious that somebody might be watching you.